Hello, everybody. Joyce here with the Traveling Gamblers, and I am here with John and Nelly. Hello, John. Hello, Joyce. Hello, Nelly. And John and I are on the Celebrity Equinox, and this is the second chapter of Six Days on the Equinox. John and I are on our last night of six nights on the Celebrity Equinox. This time we are in an aqua cabin. I had one cabin in my name and John had a cabin in his name, both comped through the casino. And we brought two of our friends along with us, Randy and Mark. And when we got on board, we did the little switcheroo and mm -hmm. they took the cabin next to us. And we've had an absolutely lovely six days with our friends. And as you can see, Nellie has some friends. Randy had these adorable flamingo ducks made for us with a little tag on it and it says oh what luck you found a duck well a flamingo keep or hide you decide it's the traditional ducks cruising ducks thing and it has the ship and the date on it and there were 24 and we've hid them with the exception of a couple that we're gonna hide after this video and hopefully some people will respond to our duck video and let us know where they made a home. <laughs> so day one, we left our house about 9.30 in the morning. Mm -hmm. And we live about an hour and 15 Ten minutes away. Hour and, tw hour and 20 minutes and away from the port. To the, to the port. And we, so, go ahead. We parked at the port instead of parking. We used to park at Park and Go. And we found out by parking... At the port, it was a lot easier. We just walk across the street with our luggage, and uh, it's almost the same, maybe a few dollars more, but it's worth it. It's okay. worth the time saved. So by the time we paid for the park and go, and then tipped the shuttle driver on the way to the ship, and then tipped them again on the way back, it came out to be about the same cost, and we're saving about a half hour of time mm -hmm. at least. And in the summer which is when we are here the most in Fort Lauderdale. The summer, we don't have to stand out in the heat for a half an hour waiting for the shuttle. Right. So we parked at the pier, we took our luggage on, we were in our cabin and completely unpacked by 11.30. It was so great. When we got to our cabin, we were gonna drop off our bags and we saw our cabin steward and we said, we're just gonna drop off our bags. And he said, no, no, your room's done, you can stay. So that was awesome. Mm -hmm. After we unpacked, we went to Ocean View Cafe for lunch. I did, and then we went down to Cafe El Baccio mm -hmm. for the usual. While we were at Cafe El Baccio, we had so many people approach us and mm -hmm. say, "Oh, we watch your channel. We love your videos." So many people are recognizing us every cruise that we go on, and it's wonderful. We absolutely mm -hmm. love it. And we love that you are stopping by and saying hello and introducing yourselves. For us, it's the best part of cruising, meeting new people. Mm -hmm. And we waited there for Mark and Randy to come on and get settled. They live on the other coast. They live on the west coast of Florida. So they had to drive from the Tampa area over to the ship. So it took them a little longer to get here. Mm -hmm. And we met them in Cafe Obaccio and Randy gave us these adorable little flamingos. And we sat and chatted and got to catch up with them mm. some and had some coffee. Then we went back to our cabin to drop off the flamingos mm -hmm. and we got ready for dinner and we went to Blue at 5.30 and dinner was really good. Yes. And immediately after dinner. Immediately after dinner, we went to the casino and used our free play. Because it was night one. And yes. We have $2,500 in free play each. Actually, this time, we each had $2,700 because we are not in a suite. Therefore, we don't have access to the retreat lounge. And there has been talk that they're going to stop doing that. But as of this cruise, they haven't stopped. Mm -hmm. So this is... July 2nd was the first day of this cruise. And as of July 2nd, at least on the Equinox, they gave us, as Ruby, we each got $200 additional. We played our free play and we stayed in the casino for about four hours playing. And we 
came out way ahead. We did. We turned it all into, turned it in almost even, right? $5,600, I think. Right. right. So initially we turned it into 5600 So we had 54 in free play to start. And we decided to set aside the 4000 And we played with the 1600 mm -hmm. We had a good time. We donated the 1600 back. Mm -hmm. And we went into the casino last night. For a little bit but we'll tell you about that when we get to day five mm -hmm. and that did it for day one we had the clocks go back an hour so when we got back to our cabin we set the clocks back an hour and we gained an hour of sleep so day two we woke up around 7 30 and had breakfast in blue and that was really good also yes uh, we met mark and that. randy mm -hmm. there and after breakfast we went to cafe albaccio to get some coffee to go we took it back to our cabin. Yeah. And then we worked till about one o'clock. We did a lot of editing. Right. And it's easier for us to just stay focused and <laughs> stay out of Cafe Obaccio because we absolutely 100% love socializing. And so if we just stay in our cabin, get the work done, that's our best bet. So we stayed in our cabin till about one and then we were back down to Cafe Obaccio yeah. and we were it was nice. It was all socializing yes. with Randy and Mark and is other it, people, it, yeah. Yeah, and there was a very nice guy that we met, um, Omar, and we were chatting for a little bit on Messenger prior to the cruise, and he came over and introduced himself, and we chatted with him quite a bit throughout the cruise. Very nice guy, and he's a casino player as well. He's going to be on quite a few of the cruises that we have coming up, or at least a couple of them anyway. Right. Then we came back to our cabin, got ready for dinner, Went to Blue for dinner, it and did. that was really good too. I, I really like Blue because you can, especially on this class ship, uh, you can get from the main restaurant and you can have their menu and the, the staff, the, the crew was great down there. It's, it's nice. Bit, yeah. I really enjoy Blue, as John said, on the, the Millennium class ships and on the Solstice class ships. I prefer to be in aqua if I can't be in a suite. Mm -hmm. I actually like blue better than I do lumine on these ships. As far as the menu goes, service I think is great in both. Right. It's a little bit of a step above when it comes to lumine because there's less people in there. So the ratio crew to people, but John and I really aren't high maintenance at all. So we really don't mm -hmm. require a lot of attention anyway. Directly after dinner, we went to watch the yes, yes or no game, and that's pretty funny. We have a clip in here yeah. of that. Uh, we did that the last time, also. Yes, uh, it's in Entertainment Court, which is on deck four, just outside of the main theater. We went there and we went early so we could get some decent seats. Not many seats there. No, there's not many seats at all. And we sat on deck five at the kind of the oval cutout where you can look down over into entertainment court. And we sat there and we had a really nice view and yeah. it was funny. It was very funny. I'm from Jacksonville. Jacksonville, Florida. Okay. Um, do you know, do you know Orange Park in Jacksonville, Florida? We live close to it. You live? Yeah! Snuck off and went to uh, some window shopping. Yes, we did. Uh, yes, we went yeah. to go look and see what there was. Nothing interesting enough to buy, but I always like to look. And when the game was over, we went and hit some of the flamingo ducks. We hit the flamingos. And we came back to our cabin, and John recorded his very first episode uh, of It's Just John. Several of you have commented that you really enjoyed them. Of course, as more news breaks, John will have some more episodes of those. And if you haven't seen it yet, there is an episode. It's called It's Just John. Mm -hmm. And there are a couple interesting new things or new changes, I should say, that are on Celebrity Cruises that I think that you might be interested in. After we recorded it, 
I stayed up and edited it because I wanted it to be able to go up the next morning. So I stayed up until about one o'clock in the morning editing It's Just John. Then we went to sleep. And in the morning on day three, I slept in a little bit. And when I woke up, John was already down at Cafe Obaccio. Yes, and I was doing some editing. I have a lot of slot videos to, to edit. There's some nice ones coming up from Vegas. In fact, some of them came up already and they're really good. So when I woke up, I went out to Cafe Obaccio to join him. I had coffee and a piece of a blueberry muffin for breakfast. And we sat down there and we did some administrative work. Oh boy. That's mm. easier to do in a social environment like Cafe Obaccio because it doesn't require such close listening and attentiveness like the editing does. But what we did was we put all of our cruises in order. We found some very few spots where we can slip a couple here and there into and we just made sure we updated our website so for those of you that don't know we have a website that lists all of our cruises that we have booked for the next two years and it is something that we share with our patreon members so that is one of the benefits of being a patreon member mm -hmm. it comes with the first level of five dollars a month patreon membership and john will send you the link and we update it ongoing we update it probably every couple of weeks or so at a minimum of at least once a month so that you're able to know what cruises were on when where in the world are the traveling gamblers now and whether or not you'd like to join us on a cruise at some point in time. Also, it was easier to work there because we were in Cayman Islands. The day before that, we were at sea. So this was day three, we were in the Cayman Islands, so the ship was pretty empty. After we spent a good chunk of the day at Cafe El Baccio, we came back to our cabin and got ready for dinner. And before we went to dinner... We went to music and mixology, and my favorite drink was the Mai Tai. The Mai Tai was good. Yeah. I liked the spiked pims. Mm -hmm. That was my favorite drink. So they made a Manhattan with spiked pims, and we have a little bit of a clip of it. The next one is the pims. What is the pims? This one is actually originated from London. To music and mixology it lasted about a half hour we went to blue for dinner and we had another lovely dinner at blue and after blue we had some time before the seven o'clock show so we sat in the ensemble lounge and listened to some really nice mellow music yes it was a young man playing a guitar and singing and it was really really nice. lovely <laughs> advantage of that area and we decided we're going to start going in there every now and then it's very nice it is it's a very nice place to just sit and relax and unwind have a cocktail before dinner or after dinner and they always have really nice music in there mm -hmm. it's usually just one or two people and just mellow acoustic type music it, it's really nice we ended up staying at the Ensemble Lounge longer than we planned. We were really enjoying the music. So we missed the early show, which was fine because it was a repeat of all the shows that we had seen the prior cruise. So we ended up going to the game show, watching the game show. And tonight it was called The Challenge, oh, yeah. which is similar to like Jeopardy. Mm -hmm. And we sat up top again. The question is, which horror film was the first ever of its genre 
to be nominated for a Best Picture Oscar. Again, which horror film was the first ever of its genre to be nominated for a Best Picture Oscar? If you don't know the answer, go to your team. Funny to watch the people interact and and have competition with each other. So that was very fun. After the challenge was over, which lasted about a half hour, we went to Cafe Obaccio. Oh, we had some tea. And we had some nighttime mm -hmm. tea. They have the best for me, in my opinion. They have the best nighttime tea. It's citrus mint and it's decaffeinated, and I absolutely love it. Mm -hmm. So I got a pot of tea, and what did you get? I had the English breakfast tea because um, I don't care about the caffeine at night. Yeah. <laughs> I could have an espresso and I can go to sleep. We sat there and we listened to some music that they were playing down in the Grand Foyer on Deck 3, which is so lovely because you can hear the music all the way up on Deck 5 at Cafe Obaggio. We did that for a little while and we came up to bed about 9.30 and we watched some TV and we went to sleep. Mm -hmm. And that brings us to day four. We were in Cozumel. We got up around eight o'clock yes, and so. we went to Blue for breakfast. And after Blue, we came back to our cabin directly and we worked in our cabin till about two because the day before we did a lot of administrative work, so we needed to catch up on some editing. YouTube is a full-time job, guys, for those of you that don't realize it yet. <laughs> but it's, it's not a job. It's not a job. We, no, we, we it's like not. It. It's yeah. work, but it's not a job. Mm -hmm. We enjoy it very much. And because we cruise so much, we have to take time out of each day while we're on cruises to get some work done. Otherwise, we would never have any videos to put up for you to watch. We then went to Future Cruise to see what our offers were. We each have a veranda that we could book within two years. So we had to go back and look for a spot to put a cruise. <laughs> but we went to Cafe El Baccio, listened to some music for a little while. Went upstairs, got ready for dinner, went to Blue. We did. Then we stopped at the Ensemble Lounge after dinner for a little bit, but we went to catch the 7 o'clock show which was Crystal Stark, and she was pretty good. After that, we got out of the Crystal Stark, the early show, just in time for Majority Rules. If you won a lottery, what is the first thing you would buy? Their answer is new wife. Oh. <laughs> and again, it was fun and entertaining to watch. The it was really good. Also. Yes, yeah. it was. It was so, funny. Yeah. It was very funny. It's a nice little. I don't know. You feel like you're kind of connecting with the rest of the passengers when you do things like that. At least I do. And after the majority of rules, which was about 8.30, we stopped at Cafe Obaccio for a little nighttime tea again. It was good the night before. We enjoyed it. And then we went back to our cabin because I was working on the Queen Mary 2 ship tour earlier in the day, and I really had my mindset on finishing editing it. And that was a long video. It to, was. To edit, but you cut off about an hour. It was like, It was <laughs> about three hours of recording initially. And with John's initial edit, he got it down to about an hour and 50 minutes. And from that, I then edited down to, I think it was an hour and 16 minutes. And I really wanted it to just be up so that you guys could see it and enjoy it. If you haven't watched it yet, there was a full ship tour of the Queen Mary when we were on doing our transatlantic at the end of May, coming back from our trip in Europe. And I hope that you enjoy it. I stayed up till about two o'clock in the morning editing. And because of that, I slept in again. I went to sleep that night about 3.30. I woke up the next morning and 
John was gone again down in Cafe El Baccio. He he went to sleep way earlier than I did. And that brings us to day five. We were at sea. Mm -hmm. I joined him down there for just a little bit and we decided to come back up to the cabin. John's been a little on the tired side. Yeah, a little? I've been pretty tired. Yes. More than usual. Yes. So we're hoping that it's just because we're doing a lot. Mm -hmm. And while we're on that subject, we have decided to cancel our next cruise. We were going to fly to New Jersey on Friday, the 15th, and we were getting on the summit out of Bayonne with two very good friends, Patty and Jerry. And Jerry's mom, uh, and Jerry's mom went on hospice and Patty and Jerry thought it would be best, and, and we agreed mm -hmm. that it would be best that they not go. Timing wasn't right, and it just wasn't meant to be, so we decided that we wouldn't go either and that we could really use the break. We will be getting off the ship tomorrow. We will be home for a few days, and on Wednesday, we drive to Tampa. John goes back to Moffat for some tests Wednesday afternoon. And then Thursday morning, very early, we go back to Moffitt and John will have a CAT scan, the cystoscopy, and a visit with the doctor. And fingers crossed, prayers said that everything will be clear as it was on our last visit. But we will update you after the visit. But we just wanted to let you know that we are canceling our next cruise and it's just because the timing was right and we just thought it was a good idea. After we left our cabin from doing some additional editing, we went down to Cafe Abaccio. Mm -hmm. We had some coffee. Then we went to Future Cruise and booked two cruises. After we booked our cruises, we went back to the cabin. We got ready for dinner and Mark and Randy treated us last night to Murano. And that it was, was delicious. I had the Dover Soul. What'd you have? I had, it used to be called Lobster Thermidor, and now it's called Murano Lobster. Mm -hmm. And it's the same dish, they just changed the name. And it was really good. And it was a lovely dinner. We started at six o'clock and we didn't leave until nine. We very much enjoyed the company of our friends, Mark and Randy. We thank them very much for being so gracious and, and treating us to Murano. It was a very lovely evening. Mm -hmm. And after that delicious dinner, we went to the casino. And we played for a little bit there, about an hour. We just wanted to show some play. We haven't been going there. Um, John's been really tired and it's for the best. Yeah. It, it really was. So we, you know, sometimes your energy, your body tells you what you need to do and when you need to take it slow. So we were back in our cabin pretty early every night this cruise. We are really keeping our fingers crossed that everything stays good. I think I'll get some energy back tomorrow when we see baby Scott. <laughs> Can't wait to see him. Can't wait to yeah, go home right. and see that grandson. Yeah. He's so sweet, so sweet. And he just loves us, oh yeah. my goodness. So we played in the casino for about an hour or so and then we came back to our cabin and we finished watching a movie. It was a really weird movie. It was called Out and About. And it's this guy that's walking through the neighborhood where he grew up in. And the whole movie is him basically talking in his head. It was cuckoo. But we both wanted to see how it ended. And <laughs> so we watched that, the rest of that last night. And we went to sleep. And we woke up this morning. And t this morning we were in Bimini. And the water is so gorgeous here in Bimini. It is a light turquoise like I have never seen before. Really beautiful. But we didn't get off the ship because we've been here uh, several times and there's just not a lot here a after you've been here multiple times like we have. So we decided to stay on the ship and we actually went and worked at Cafe El Baccio all day and it was really lovely because there were very few people. We worked a little bit, and then we socialized a little bit, and we worked a little bit, and we socialized a little bit. And then we came back to our cabin about four o'clock. We packed and got ready for dinner. And then we... Had some more ducks to hide, or yes, flamingos, we, oh, I yeah. should say. Then we went to dinner. 
We went down and had dinner at Blue and we had an amazing view. We sat right next to the window. We saw as we pulled out of port in Bimini and it was just gorgeous. I never get tired of looking at the ocean or the Caribbean Sea or the Mediterranean Sea or any of those bodies of water. It was a very lovely dinner again. After dinner, we came straight back to the cabin because we needed to get all of our thoughts together for this video. Okay. Even though we didn't get off uh, the ship this this time, we have a, I think we have an excursion book next time. One or two. We do. Yes. Well, the next, so our next cruise will be back on the Equinox on July the 30th and we do have excursions booked. I think the next couple cruises we have, because we will be in suites and we have onboard credit and I like to use the onboard credit for excursions and do some different adventures rather than spend it in the casino. We'll also eat at La Petite Chef next time. We will. So we'll, we'll be recording that. Lots of fun, exciting things coming up for these next few cruises that we have on the Equinox. So we will have some additional, besides our weekly recap, we will have some additional videos on excursions and meals. And on that note, that does it for us for six days on the Equinox, the second edition. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate your support. And as always, we hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye, Nellie. Goodbye, Nellie.